So I was helping a subscriber with a resume. He actually messaged me, um, said, hey, man, if you wouldn't mind giving me some tips on my resume. I said, sure. Uh, one of those was uh, I wanted to be found on some of the job websites for some of the top jobs. I showed him how to uh, insert some keywords. I did a video on that. You can check how to insert video, or excuse me, how to insert keywords inside of a resume to be able to be found on some of the top job sites like monster.com. If you notice here where it says keyword or title, um, people will go in and look for jobs in this, but also if you log in as a, um, a business owner, you can search for candidates by keyword if you have the pro version. I'm pretty sure of this program. A lot of the job sites offer that, so I can try and find a candidate in some certain uh, realm of expertise that I want to type in, like welding or what have you. If it's on his resume, it'll bring him up as a potential candidate for me to be able to contact, so it's a pro feature. You want to be able to hack that and get top rank in those categories without, you know, sort of going any against any terms and conditions. You can do that by keyword stuffing that resume, which I did in my other video was how to get top jobs. You can look that one up. Um, the other, uh, and that's on my profile here, you'll, you'll notice. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about today was the ability to be able to get uh, those keywords. So, for example, if you want to do something for EB Games, for instance, and you want to be have keywords because you know, this gentleman he wanted to work at a video game store i said well do you have the word nintendo anywhere on your thing no what about snes no what about customer service well he didn't really have any of that yet okay well he just see he wasn't going to be getting chose by them i said well let's fix that and now here i'll show you how so basically you get the website open that you want you go right click on the page and you go view page source You'll notice here it's very hard to look through all this rigmarole here. That's like web code, but type in or hit control F or control find. A little box will come up here. Type in um, keywords K E Y W O R D S. See that? It's halfway down the page right here. So now, whoops, where'd my mouse go? Okay. So we have your keywords, PS4, PlayStation, all these ones. So we just literally copy all those, put it in there. You see in the description, same thing. You can cut and paste their own description and put it on your resume. You put it in size two font in white at the very bottom and a little block of text or a size one font, and no one will ever know it even exists. You won't ever, you'll they'll never know. The only way they'll know is if they type in a keyword, something, and your resume pops up, that's when you'll you'll know that you've been selected by them. They won't really have any idea um, that that's been done. And it's micro, micro, micro font at the bottom. They'd have to highlight it over with the mouse and know it was there to be able to even get to it. So that's how you put the keywords in your resume. Um, you will find the keywords present there. So example, if you want to do, say, Walmart, Walmart, Walmart's website example we get in here Walmart I right click I hit um, sorry excuse me right click view page source control F keywords oops keywords okay they don't have any so then you would have to find it some other way but if they don't have any keywords most likely have other things um, that you can use example categories specifically on walmart's website so if you go back type in any one of these these department areas which you want to be in um you know there's tons of tons of stuff to uh to work with there you can literally throw those in but you would also do all the main common ones so you would do like customer service you know front desk anything that has to do with the word customer or whatever a a person hiring would want for that, you know, any HR manager would want a uh, certain keyword they would probably type in. That's what you would put uh, on the resume. So that's how you get the keywords. Anyhow, thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, and share this video.